another episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter, where today I pulled out my Centerpoint Patriot 415 to get it sighted in and all that kind of good stuff. But before we get into that, yeah, last week. Well, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm going to let you guys know I film my videos ahead of time. Usually I try and do three or four ahead of time. Uh, just because of the way I work. So, last week, I filmed a couple, but it was a hectic week. My, I had my youngest daughter home all week because she was sick. My oldest daughter was home, she was sick, and my youngest son was home last week as he was sick. Then, I was getting ready to go out and I was going to do my hunt, but I had a car accident. We're all okay. Um, so I wasn't able to go out and do the first day of turkey hunting because of the accident. Yeah. And don't get me started on insurance and all that kind of stuff. So I finally got me a car on Saturday. So I can, but uh, yeah, it was just a bad, bad, bad week. So, as you recall, so we're, get, we're gonna get started with this video. Let's get off of that. So, as you recall my last video, um, we were having an issue with my pile driver from uh, Carbon Express. So I decided to take my uh, ATN, 4K sight, put it on my center point Patriot. So what do we got to do? We got to do a speed test all over again and recite it. Um, so I'm going to it today, put it in the new speed, and hopefully everything goes good. Let's keep our fingers crossed. So without any further ado, let's get started on this. Get my calculator up here. So, yeah, I, it was just a bad week, and but hopefully things will be better. But uh, again, I wasn't able to get out and do the first day of turkey hunting like I wanted to, but uh, that's the way the apple falls from the tree, or something like that. When it rains, it pours, or whatever. So let's. Uh, I'm, so I'm just going to do a quick um, speed test. Again, I'll do three arrows. Get my average, and we will input that into the scope, and go from there. So it's in this for hopefully we're on the target. So we're just set up at 20 yards, and let's send this first one down. And we're at 361. And let's send the first one. Then let's, let's do the second arrow. So yeah, it's one of those things last week is just unbelievable week. Yeah, I had I was able to drive the car home. But when I got home, by the time I got home, I was having some other issues with the car. I wasn't able to drive it anymore. So I got them waiting on a phone call today to get it towed to the shop. All right, here we go. Second shot. And that was a 362. And we'll do one more. I got my zero 
range set at 20, 20 yards. And I got something else to show you guys here. That I'm, I'm not going to use it today, but I'll show you. Another new tool that I got for my scope. But I will show you guys how I'm going to be using it. All right, third shot. Okay, that one's at 363. All right, divided by three equals 362. So my average is 362. So I'm going to input that into the ballistic calculator. Make sure I got my eyeballs on and get it all done right here. Okay. So that's all good. Now, okay. So that's all good. We're all in there. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and collect those arrows, and I'll be right back for the zero. Don't go nowhere. Okay, so I have a new rangefinder, the ATN Laser Ballistic 1000. Um, again, I'm not going to use this today, um, but what it does is it Bluetooth to the scope to uh, for my um, uh, uh, yardage, so it automatically will set my crosshairs to where they need to be. So I'll go over this later on in another episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter. But yeah, I got my new rangefinder. Kind of cool. All right. So now just let me double check my camera down here. And yep, that's on. So we're going to do that. One shot zero. So I'm going to be shooting at the middle of the target. Okay. So we're off to the left a little bit. So I need to put my zero on the arrow and I'm going to bring it up a little oh, there we go I'm going to bring it up come on set this here and I don't want any movement while I'm doing this so I'm going to bring my radical down there scoot this over there we go and I need to bring it down a little bit more take that one degree angle out go okay bring it up a little bit more now I'm going to bring it over a 
That looks good. Okay, hit the OK button. Save and exit. Okay. Now we'll go back. Okay. So, let's see how we do this time. You see how practice makes perfect. Well, not perfect, but things are going a lot quicker. But I asked, somebody did ask me if it does add on a little bit of weight to your crossbow. Yes, it does. About two and a half pounds. So if you're going to a rifle or a or a um, crossbow, it does add a little bit of weight. Okay, so this time I'm going to shoot to the right. Black mark. And we'll see how we do. See how close we are. And that one was still to the right. Huh. Almost the same spot. Okay. So we'll go into the menu and we'll do it again. Oh, too far. Current. Okay. So let's put another arrow in. Let's try this again. Because that went in almost the same spot. All right. All right, let's put that other arrow in. Okay, all right, so I am going to actually, I'm going to drop this down to the bottom center, right there, so I'm going to go right in between the two of the bottom. Okay, all right. So we're gonna move the scope over. Drop this down. Okay. Bring it up. Not the wrong way. I hope I go the right way. Okay. Make sure I'm still there. I'm going to bring it over to the center. Looks okay. Hit the OK button. Save. Go 
back. All right. Okay, so I need to go collect my arrows, and I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Okay, so we're all set. And this time, I'm going to use the scope to record. So make sure that's on. And it says it's on. So let's go uh, center right. Actually, we'll go bottom right and see how we do. Hopefully everything is good this time. And I didn't even see where that one went. So let me go down and check that and I'll be right back. Okay, so for some reason, and I haven't, fi I gotta figure it out. It consistently shoots to the left. Regardless how much I adjust it, it just keeps shooting to the left. So I don't know if it's because of the uh, the ballistic coefficient or what. I don't know. So I still got a lot of work to do with this. So we went back to the HHA optimizer speed dial. So we're going to sight that in, because I really want to get a sight in done. So, we're going to sight this in. I just put it on, make sure everything was level. Uh, so everything's good with that, so we're good. So it's not shooting to the left, I hope. Keep our fingers crossed. So. I just put it, like I said, I just put it back on, made sure my scope was level with my barrel. So, let's find out. So we're going to go center right. Oh, and needs to go down just a little bit. So we will do that. Okay, that's not bad. So I know the bow is shooting straight. So we just gotta figure out why. And I'm thinking maybe it's the ballistic coefficient on there. So I'm gonna have to figure that out because I do not know how to uh, calculate coefficiency ballistic on here uh, but I did mess up another arrow yeah so I'm good for that so let's send another arrow down and see how we do this time this time we'll go to the left left center Beautiful. Let me just go down one. Let me go to two more clicks. Okay. That was a beautiful shot. So now we know there's nothing wrong with the bow. It's got to be something with the measurements or something in there. Keep it shooting off to the right. So, let's put another arrow in. And we'll go upper right. I'll say we'll go upper left. Okay, let's see how we do this time.
That one got buried, but perfect. All right. So now let me collect those arrows and we'll do one more round. Okay. So the thing I don't understand with my pile driver, everything worked just fine until it, they got out of line. And everything was lining up. But for some reason with this, it's just not doing it. So we'll figure it out. All right. Okay, so we'll go upper right. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Yeah. I again, I like the the X site. Because I can record on it. Because that makes it nice to record on your scope. But I got some turkey, a turkey to go get. All right, so let's go to the left, upper. Same spot, buried it. All right. Okay. So the only thing I got to do, and I'll do that later, is I'll move back to 30 yards and I'll make sure everything is good at 30 yards. If I'm not good at 30 yards, I'm good everywhere else, I guess. All right. All right, so we'll do center left. Let's bring this down. There we go. The more I you'll use this, it's called, I think it's San Andreas or something like that. I like it. All right. Center left. There we go. All right. So we're perfect with this. So, again, just a quick recap. I am having issues with the X site, AT and X site, um, shooting to the left. It may be the settings. So, I have to figure the settings out on this. Um, maybe with the faster crossbow the settings might be okay or I need to raise the settings up for the uh, ballistic coefficient or something on the scope. Um, so I got a lot more, a little more testing to do with it. Um, I guess I don't know nothing about ballistic coefficient and how to set that. Nothing. I'm guessing because I got it set at 1.5 I believe it is. So We'll work on it some more, but uh, right now, I just want to get this thing ready for the turkeys. So I got the uh, HHA uh, uh, optimizer speed dial on here with my center point scope. Working great. So, remember, hit that subscribe button down below, ring that bell or whatever, because I haven't seen any bells lately. But I may be blind. Uh, hit that like button and share and all that kind of good stuff with your buddies, your friends, or whatever. And uh, like I guess they got one more test I want to do or sighting. Make sure I'm good at 30 yards. And then I'll go out and do hunting some turkeys. So remember, family first. Take care of your family. By all means, get out there and hunt and see you on the next episode of You Talk Crossbow Hunter.